In this video, I'm showing you five winning products that you could sell this Christmas. And for even more value, I'm gonna be showing you a winning ad for the product and going into Facebook and showing you exactly how I would target each one. So let's go. I work hard every motherfucking day. What's up guys, I'm Chris, also known as King. In the last video, I mentioned that if you commented a certain thing on that video, you would have a chance to win a consulting call in this one. And so the winner of that call is Chanel Abro. So Chanel, all you have to do is send me a DM on Instagram and we'll go from there. And considering it's Q4, I do wanna let you guys know that I'm not gonna be doing any more free consultation calls right now, since it's the most chaotic time of year, but drop a quick like on this video right now if you do want me to bring it back in the future. All right, so now we're gonna jump into the beef of the video. So the five products, I just wanna mention them really quick and keep in mind all of these are selling really well right now but not too well to where you can't sell them yourself so product number one is a heated insole product number two is a heated vest product number three is meteor lighting product number four is a snow cover and product number five is an ice scraper and a lot of you might be thinking like oh those are very generic or how the heck would you even sell something like that or that's not a winning product well that's exactly why I'm making this video because every product out there can sell but it really all just comes down to how well can you sell it and how much can you scale it it's marketing over product every day and so anyways now I'm gonna show you guys a winning ad for each one of these products break down why it worked and then I'm gonna go into Facebook and show you exactly how you'd want to target each one and my mindset behind it all right guys so on screen right now you're seeing the heated insoles video I'm gonna play it really quickly just to show you guys a little bit of it but I'm not gonna show you guys the whole thing of course if you want to look it up for yourself you can but take a look here at this video and here's the first few seconds So right there was the first five to six seconds of the video and you guys need to make your videos just like that. No, you don't need to order the product and shoot the video or the images yourself, but it needs to be very quick. Like if it doesn't change really quickly and keep someone's attention, then someone's just gonna click and keep scrolling and looking for memes or something like that. So you guys always wanna make sure your videos are really quick and straight to the point and really just keep someone on their feet because we're basically goldfish out here. We have like an attention span of like three seconds, so your videos need to be quick. But anyways, that's not what we're diving into on this video. I just wanted to show you a little bit about this one. And so here is a successful ad overall. And so this ad is doing good, but not great. And so you guys could draw inspiration from it. I mean, the page is called Yang Yi, like it's the picture of a girl. And so there are a lot of ways that it could be better, which by the way, that's exactly what I suggest you guys do is find something that's working and then find ways you can make it better and then do that and then you'll outrun the competition any day. And I mean, if you just had a little bit better ad copy with less spammy emojis and had a one product store kind of brand page feel, I mean, you could do better than these guys are just by doing that. And as you can see, this product has 6,000 orders at 4.8 stars, which is really, really good. That means people really like it. So that means you won't have a lot of customer complaints or anything in the long run. And overall, this is a very generic type of product. I think there's mass scale to be done here. So I'm surprised it doesn't even have 20, 30, 40,000 orders or more. But that just means that there's room for people like you to go out there and test it and make it have 20, 30, 40,000 orders on AliExpress yourself. Which keep in mind, after I show you guys a winning ad for each of the rest of these products, I am going into Facebook and showing you my mindset and like the philosophy and strategy behind targeting each one. So make sure to stay tuned for that. All right, so this one, a lot of you guys probably could never imagine it being a winning product, but it's Meteor Lab. Lighting, right and so this is how you want to imagine it it's like a girl wearing her sexiest outfit out to the club just to get more attention and so that's what people would do when they buy this product is no they're not gonna wear it to the club but they're gonna decorate their house and you know outside their house to get more attention overall this product sells higher status just because it'll make you stand out amongst anyone else in your neighborhood of course it's gonna be a very niche type of audience and so you wouldn't want to sell it to people like under 25 or anything like that but as you can see on screen I'm gonna play this video here in a second but they say meteor light always guiding you in the direction of your home like this is exactly what I'm talking about guys I mean you can find products and ads that are doing good but there are plenty of ways to make it better like they have way too many emojis that the English isn't that good and overall their angle of marketing isn't good like they are selling the ability to guide you in the direction of your home but like I said this is a status type of product so so being able to understand the true emotion of why someone would buy a product is crucial in your marketing but as you can see regardless of that it still got 1700 shares and over 5,000 engagements so so oh, that just means there's a lot more room to grow for you guys. So I'm gonna play the first part of this video and show you guys what's up. 
All right, so here's the video. And I mean, the product is freaking awesome. Like you don't even need to say much about it just because it kind of speaks for itself. But I mean, that's the product itself. I'm not gonna go in depth on this video overall, but the product has wow factor. It's really unique. So it essentially sells itself. And again, this one has 4.8 stars on AliExpress as well as you're seeing on screen and almost 1500 orders, which means it's really, really untapped, but this is the perfect time of year to sell it. And so again, a lot of you probably wouldn't think a product like this would be a winner. And I wouldn't myself back then, like a year or two years ago. But I promise you, whenever I take you into Facebook and kind of show you how I would target it, you'll see how it could work. All right, so this product right here is the snow cover for your car. And this one actually works in both ways because not only can it protect it from ice and snow, but it works in the summer as well because it'll keep your car from getting too hot. So after work or whatever, the reason someone would buy is when they go to their car, it's not gonna be super hot. But this time of year in certain countries like US and Canada, it's gonna be very cold. And so this is gonna be specifically for ice and snow. And like I mentioned, overall, the product sells convenience. So you wanna tap into that emotion in your marketing which funny enough looking at the ad on screen right now that's the first thing they say is so convenient and that's exactly why it has 18,000 engagements and almost 10,000 shares 5,000 comments it's because they're tapping into the true emotion that this product sells they're not saying hey buy this product it'll help you prevent like snow getting on your car like yeah that's what the, the tactical reason someone's buying the product but you need to hit the emotion if you don't build an emotional bridge it's not gonna work and so the thumbnail is really good on this just because it's cute and funny and really stands out. And I highly suggest you guys do this. That's one thing I always say is your thumbnail doesn't have to be something specifically about your product, but it does need to be in the same sort of category or niche. So this is a snow product and they just have a funny snow picture as the thumbnail. So that's something I highly suggest you guys do. But as they say, the heavy snow can be removed with a gentle tear of the snow cover. Say goodbye to the snow smog of the windshield. You have to have it. That's really good overall. It's very straightforward, very simple. Um, yeah, there's really not much I would change about that. And so I'm gonna play a little bit of the video here just so you guys can see it. Say goodbye to the hard days trying to get in your car and drive. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's hitting the true emotion overall just because that's truly what people would buy it for. Amazing product shields you from the harsh effects of weather elements. Yeah, completely right. Uh, the video overall is really like spammy feeling. Um, as you guys can see, this isn't even the, the, the store that sells this. Like the video is someone else's. Cause here up here it says Altum. What is this? Altum deal. Across the screen it says Altum deal. But their URL is ccepshop.com. And that just goes to show that it is possible to use someone else's content and be successful with it. Am I advocating you do that? Not particularly, but that doesn't mean it won't work for you as long as you tap into the true emotion of the buyer. And as you're seeing on screen, the product itself only has a 69 690 orders which means it's really really untapped but of course across aliexpress there are multiple suppliers selling this and so there's a couple thousand orders but that just means it's really untapped and especially since it has 4.9 stars that's amazing something you guys want to look at here is out of the 700 orders 300 people reviewed it that's almost a 50 percent order to review ratio which means a lot of people that bought it weren't drop shippers they were actually people that bought it for themselves and had to come back to review it just because it was so good which is a great thing to look for so that's the snow cover for the car and like i said it will protect your car from heat as well so that's kind of like a double-edged sword right there so you can target e-packet or just top six seven countries because not all countries are in winter right now so even for the summer months it will work all right so the fourth product is the heated vest and i'm not sure how many of you actually experience snow or just really cold weather but sometimes two or three jackets just still isn't enough like you still get freezing cold and so that's where something like this product the heated vest will come in handy because it's a lot more convenient to stay warm with something like this rather than having to wear six jackets or something. And so on screen, you guys are seeing the winning ad for this. And I think this is perfect. I think it's beautiful. Their ad copy is outlined great. Their thumbnail is beautiful. And of course, you guys don't need intricate thumbnails like this to be successful, but I would highly advocate it. It'll give you lower CPMs and cost per click. So you will make more money, um, but it's not necessary to be profitable. But anyways, keep your body warm and cozy this winter. Enjoy 50% off plus free shipping. Overall, their ad copy is very straightforward, so that's awesome. Has 2,000 comments, 6,000 shares, and 7,000 engagements. I think it could be doing a lot better, so I'm not sure if these guys don't have a lot of budget. They just recently started this or what, but I think it could be doing a lot better. So I'm just gonna play the first part of this video really quickly, so check this out. Keep your body warm and cozy this winter. Hey, cool, cool. This vest was made specifically to restore to your body's vitality. Yeah, so honestly, I think the reason their ad isn't doing insanely well, like, you know, 50,000 engagements, is because their thumbnail was beautiful. Their ad copy is beautiful, but their video just isn't that good. Like here, a second ago, 
at the bottom of the video, it says this vest was made specifically to restore your body's vitality. Like what? First of all, you guys don't want to use big words like that in your marketing. You, you want to market like you're talking to children. So you don't want to use words like vitality. Like what the heck? That, that's not really what this vest is made for. And maybe it is, but you know, most consumers won't even understand what that means. So a big way that you guys could make this better. I mean, their thumbnail is great. Take inspiration from that. Their ad copy is great. Take inspiration from that too. But their video isn't very good. It's not very catchy in the first couple seconds. Like it's a very low quality image of a dude standing on snow. Like it's just not very, like very good. Instead, you can have the first like second of your video be someone diving into a pile of snow without even having the vest on and then transition into content of the vest so it makes your video content a lot more catchy and right here on aliexpress you're seeing that it only has 600 orders but again it has 4.6 stars which is really really good and right off the bat aliexpress provides great images right here like you could just you could advertise this with image ads and a carousel ad something like that um, just have more intricate ad copy that could work really really well and one thing right here you guys are seeing is you could ship this from the United States so you could advertise that proudly in your ad copy as hey get three to five day shipping or you know whatever we ship proudly from the United States something like that but overall this is going to be a more difficult and intricate type of product for you guys to sell just because it's going to be more higher ticket as you guys are seeing I mean it's going to cost you 10 15 or up to 20 dollars and so it is a little more intricate of a product but I did want to throw this in there for those of you that really want to challenge yourself so the fifth product I'm going to show you guys is a snow scraper yes previously I showed you guys a snow cover for the car but a lot of people are more lazy and they don't want to just actually peel off an entire snow cover or even put one on in the first place they would rather just grab a snow scraper like this and make a little circle in their windshield that's only enough for them to see where they're going when driving and so just like the snow cover this one is selling convenience and as you're seeing in the ad copy they say that it's so convenient I love it blah 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 and that's why it's doing so well is because they're tapping into the true emotion I mean almost 9,000 shares almost 10,000 comments and 15,000 likes like that's awesome no wonder it's doing so well well, I promise if you guys start tapping into the emotions and the psychology of the buyer you're gonna make so much more money than the people that are just focused on finding winning products because 100% any and every product can sell but only if you're able to tap into a true emotion and here I think the thumbnail is pretty bad you could use some sort of snow type of meme as your thumbnail to catch people like you saw in one of the previous products but anyways I'm gonna play the first few seconds of this video just to show you guys what's up Yeah, so as you guys are seeing, I mean, it works really, really well. It scrapes ice off very, very easily. Um, I do think a lot more people would use a product like this than the snow cover itself, just because it's a lot more convenient overall. Because with the snow cover, it's a multiple step process. You have to cover your car with it and take it off and put it in your car and then go. With this, you can just scrape a little bit off. And well, with this video showing how easy it is with this scraper, well, a lot more people would buy this in my opinion, but that doesn't mean the snow cover won't work. I still do think that is a winning banging product. But yes, as you guys can see on AliExpress, this one has almost 25,000 orders. And don't let that scare you. I mean, I've personally sold very profitably a product with over 80,000 orders on AliExpress before. The amount of orders is irrelevant. Products do not saturate. Marketing and creatives do. Remember that. It's got 4.8 stars and it's really, really cheap and you can ship from the United States. Like this is a major, major winner right here. You can advertise fast shipping. You could advertise convenience. There's a lot going on with this one product that you guys can tap into. And fun fact, AliExpress provides you a video to use and they provide you really good images. This one right here specifically, you could use the image ad, just that image to market it alone and just have more intricate, like more of a paragraph type ad copy tapping into the convenience of the product. Like that could work really, really well. And like I said, it's super cheap. So you'll be able to have fat profit margins on this and it's the perfect time of year to do this so this is probably one of the best ones i'm showing you guys so definitely jump in on this one all right guys so those were the five products right there i wanted to show you a little bit about the ad of course i didn't want to go in depth on each creative or anything like that because that's not what this video is about of course if you do want to see me go in depth on winning creatives or showing six figure products or things like that just comment that down below or comment any other video you want me to produce in the future but whether you saw each of those products as a winning product or not now I'm going to be showing you exactly how I would target it in Facebook to really show it to the right person because you can have the best and most expensive bow and arrow out there. But if you miss your target completely, then your bow and arrow isn't very good at all. So that's where a lot of you guys are falling short is not in your products, not in your marketing, but in your targeting. And so that's why I'm about to show you guys how I would target and kind of tap into the true person, the true consumer for each one of these products. So let's go into my ads manager and I'll show you real quick. All right. So on this campaign, I did the heated insoles and the heated vest just because they're 
almost directly exactly the same type of product. Like they're both selling convenience and the ability to be warm. So you're really just gonna target the same people with these products. So I put them into one campaign just to show you guys and make it that much more simple. So if we go to the ad sets here, I just did five of them. I didn't wanna overwhelm you guys, but what I did most of is as you can see here, three of these are brands that sell clothes specifically for like cold or just harsh weather. And so people that are already buying these products are gonna be more interested in buying products that are gonna keep them even more warm, like heated insoles and heated vests, which is exactly why I targeted it. And in these two, I did activities that you would do in the snow because you know those people are cold. And so why not give them more incentive or more ways to conveniently stay warm? And so that's just an idea on that. Of course, in all of these, I did 25 plus, just because I don't think anyone under the age of 25 would buy this. Of course, if you want, you can waste your targeting money on that, but I wouldn't personally target anyone under 25 on these two products. As you can see, I did no engaged shoppers. That's what this means, the no ES on any of these, just because both of these are very generic, broad products. Like you don't know specifically who's gonna want heated insoles or a heated vest besides people who are actually in cold weather. And so that's why I did no engaged shoppers is because I wanted to give Facebook the room to find the buyers. And so that's why the audience sizes are pretty large, like 41 million, 10 million, 26 million, 5 million, 3 million is because it's a very general broad product. And so just to show you guys once, this is exactly what I did for all of them. So the countries I targeted were the top seven. So United States, Italy, Canada, United Kingdom, Australia, France, and Germany. Those are gonna be your top tier English speaking countries that actually buy a lot online. So that's what I would suggest you guys do. Of course, 25 to 65, all genders, English only. And then in terms of the placements, I did mobile only, Facebook feed and Instagram feed. And of course, other than that, you guys always wanna do purchase conversion and don't optimize for anything else unless you're retargeting or something like that. And so I just wanted to show you guys that those are the same countries and the same platforms that I targeted across all of these products. And so now you're seeing on screen the snow cover and the ice scraper in one campaign because they're directly ex almost exactly the same type of product. I mean, they solve the same problem. Overall, you're selling convenience in both of these. So I didn't want to separate them in campaigns to confuse you guys. And so on these two ad sets, you can see I did clothing like I did on the previous products. And so people that are actually buying clothes from brands like this to keep them really warm during the cold are the ones that actually have ice and snow on their windshields. So only they would actually be able to use this product. Because if you targeted something general like Netflix, well, not everyone who likes Netflix on Facebook actually deals with cold weather, right? So that's why I targeted some clothing brands but also i just did very generic things here so like snow tire like that's stupid simple straightforward like people who are buying snow tires have to drive in the snow so they would want to use things like a snow plow snow plow so they would want to use things like an ice scraper and a snow cover for their cars and of course snow removal and snow plow this is directly for people that you know that's so funny that th that's even a freaking interest on facebook is snow removal like who likes snow removal well <laughs> you know i guess i guess there are people on facebook that do so that's your opportunity to target them with a product like this but snow removal and snow plow are directly for people that actually deal with snow and so that's the overall mindset and strategy you would want to use when targeting these products is only target people that would deal with snow or really really cold weather and so you don't want to think like what things those people already buy like snow tires and you know north face jackets to keep them warm and things like that so i hope that helped on those products again on these i did 25 plus just because i i, I don't feel like people under the age of 25 would you know buy products like this just because they don't really care as much but the audience sizes are a lot more small on these so 3 million 1 million like 500,000 1 million and then this one of course is 10 million um, I did no engaged shoppers on any of these because like I said I want to give Facebook the room to find the buyer but guys don't get too frustrated or set on a specific number of your audience size of what they should be because there's no limit like I've sold 60,000 audience size before and I've sold 50 million audience size before any range works as long as you're getting close to hitting your target all right so this one right here is the meteor lights and this one would be the most difficult for most of you because a lot of you you don't have that marketer mind so you can't really imagine who you would target this to who would want to buy status in a product like this so that's why i saved it for last because it's the more difficult one and so i'm excited to show you the ad sets on this so on these two ad sets i went broad just to kind of give facebook as much room as possible like literally i use the term christmas and christmas tree i mean you can see that's 56 million and 33 million audience sizes like these are huge audiences but they're very general so i wanted to give facebook a lot of room on those but as you can see on these three ad sets christmas decoration and Christmas lights and Christmas flex with decorations. I went for people specifically who want Christmas lights and like decorating for Christmas and who like making their house look good for the holidays. Like how much more specific can you get in terms of targeting the right person 
for a Christmas light by targeting people who like Christmas lights on Facebook. Like, let's be real, that's simple, straightforward. And so this one I just wanted to show you inside really quickly, and this is what I do a lot. Whenever you don't really know how to find your buyer or your target market, just flex two really broad interests together that you think your consumer would like. So what I did here is I flexed a really broad interest of Christmas and a really broad interest of decoration. So everyone in this audience has to like the holiday of Christmas and has to like decorating. So that directly means they like decorating for Christmas, which means, well, this product is perfect for them because it's gonna give them higher status in their neighborhood and it's gonna make them really stand out with extra decoration. All right, guys, so that is all for this video. Of course, if you have any video requests that you wanna see in the future, make sure to comment those down below. Otherwise, I won't make it so you won't get the content. And of course, if you made it this far, well, you're going the extra mile that most people wouldn't and that's what it takes to really succeed. So if you could do one more thing for me and just drop a quick like on this video that tells me you like my content and wanna see more. And so I will make it if you drop a like on this video. But that's all for this one, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Much love to clean this out.